everybody. I hope you're doing well. Skyling Halo here. Uh, come and watch you with your daily hope for the ninth. I hope, I hope things are going good in your world. I've had a very busy day. Um, I have disabled comments on my videos for now. Uh, need to, I don't know, just feels like the path of least resistance for me. So anyways, let's take out a, uh, what do we call it? One of these things. Yeah animal totem cards there's going to be new opportunities coming your guys' way ones you're not even going to see come right out of the blue yep that happened to me today it's all very exciting owl magic look at that yeah talk about truth don't we know the truth choose to know the truth because you can open your inner vision you can see through deception let the past go and make room for a better life rise up Magic and wisdom are your birthright. How beautiful is that? Magic and wisdom are your birthright. So what do we want to create with that birthright? Interesting, right? Let's see, shall we? I am a creator. I'm all about creating, you know? Look at that. The universe has big plans for me and it's time to claim them. Look at that. Yeah, it sure is. But a lot of times we can't see the forest through the trees. Everybody tells us to have faith. Everybody tells us to hope, trust. But when it comes down to it, how do you hope, trust in those moments? I'm going to tell you right now, when you have the lack of hope and faith and trust, I want you to, if nothing else, understand that in that moment that you cannot have those things or there's no way you can muster them that all of the times that you have had hope and faith for yourself and trust had hope and faith and trust for others i want you to know that the divine does not say okay you don't get it because you're not hope faithing and trusting today okay that's really important for you guys to understand that's when i talk about your baseline mm -hmm. Sorry about that. So when I talk about your baseline vibration, your baseline vibration is what you vibrate regardless of the emotions you have. I am telling you, you guys have got some sort of high vibration. And I've had proof that my vibration's doing awesome too. Just with today's thing. I mean, last night was a rough night for me. And then in today, I've had proof in the physical 3D an absolute offer which has nothing to do with tarot but everything to do with finances and money and a new way I've got a new mentor now which is gonna help me grow and learn in in financial abundance uh, with the law of attraction which is absolutely amazing and this person is incredibly well known incredibly well known i'm just i feel so honored and so blessed and had i not have reached out in a certain area financially i wouldn't have this opportunity now and part of the reason i have it is because someone whom uh has heard me speak and i think some of you will remember when i said i'd went to a business meeting and had this person come up to me and talk to me about my vibration was just off the charts and i mean i wasn't even feeling incredibly great at the time so yeah i don't forgot where it's going with all that but anyway you can put thoughts together so to begin the practice of allowing i must get out of the way and let spirit give me direction so if you aren't having the hope faith and trust that you feel you should or you don't feel good enough in your hope faith and trusting or whichever even when you're having a down day or whichever you you go ahead and you sit by yourself even doesn't matter what energy you're feeling at the time the reality is is perhaps those emotions and those feelings are coming up for absolute valid reason like i always say trust your feelings and emotions as your guidance system so if you're feeling that way trust that that's when the divine when you totally surrender and you give up that's when the divine can come in and get out of there and it helps get you out of their way so they can actually bring things to you when i'm in a state of appreciation i'm in vibrational alignment with my true love nature what does appreciation mean what does appreciation mean appreciating that you know what sometimes 
everything else can just go away. I just need time to feel however I want to feel. Sorry about that. However I want to feel right now and enjoy whatever I want to enjoy, even if that is sadness and sorrow. It's still appreciating the fact that you can feel that way and still bring about love perhaps in that state and in that energy it's not as low as you think it is perhaps that's actually having true love for self and allowing yourself to feel those feelings i choose to be a super attractor and have unwavering faith in the universe that when you don't got it they do that when you don't have it they do Let's ask, do we ever really have it or does the universe always have it anyway? Well, I think we already know the answer to that question. All right, let's get a message from our angels here. Open your inner vision. You can see through deception. Let the past go and make room for a better life. Rise up. Magic and wisdom are your birthright. Beautiful. When you take excellent care of yourself, which might be grieving, allowing yourself to grieve, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a massage, sea salt bath, or a pedicure. Caution is warranted. This is know the truth because you can. Open your inner vision. Caution is warranted. Look deeper into the situation before proceeding further. So what, what have you been calling out to divine for? What's coming around to you? Understand that whatever you choose, it has got to benefit you, your inner being, and who you are. Okay? Use your intuition here. It's very important to use your intuition about how you're heading forward and what you want to manifest. Because, like... There's something about absolutely letting the past go. It's it's possible someone may receive communication and you've got to decide whether you're going to entertain what's coming to you or not. Entertain a certain idea or understanding or not. So, yeah, proceed with caution. But in all things, regardless of how you're feeling, trust that when you feel you've got to stop even if it is to grieve, even if it is to feel down, even if it is to whichever, that the universe absolutely has your back. Look at this. I begin the practice of allowing. So allowing yourself to feel the way you feel and trust that in that emotional guidance system that the divine is lining you up to get the heck out of their way so they can move in. I choose to be a super attractor and have unwavering faith in the universe. That's how you do that unwavering faith in the moments where you feel like you're upset or you feel like you need things to just stop that they can, they can, but you've got to listen to your emotions as your internal guidance system. All right, let's get a postcard from spirit flowing with the go was the one for yesterday flow with what the divine has on the go trust that when you it's time to the divine will give you a sure directional directional information about which way to go but until that happens a lot of times it's getting out of their way why am i having a hard time shuffling these cards i love these cards but apparently like i'm almost feeling like i shouldn't use them actually So here we go. We got two. I'm going to use them because they fit. We need you to know that you can change things miraculously for you and everyone and make things right. It's never too late. Forgiveness is about releasing yourself from the burden of an old story, one in which you were a victim of someone else's actions or your own. You don't need to carry this around. You can set yourself free. Even advocating for good because of this experience requires your forgiveness to be effective. Forgiveness is never about condoning things that were done. It's about letting yourself off the hook from carrying the burden. This is what I'm talking about. Letting yourself off the hook for even carrying the burden of, of trying to be good all the time. Trying to, to vibrationally, you know... Whichever, you've got to trust that your feelings and how you feel in the moment, even if they're negative feelings, are absolute guidance for you as to where you're at and possibly 
needing to grieve, needing to feel those ways. So sit in your feelings and trust them. Trust that they're divinely given to you. It's about letting yourself off the hook from carrying the burden. Resentment and hurt are like a virus that spread to others, and that is the opposite of what you really desire, right? Imagine what your life would be like without the burdens that you carry when you do not forgive. You can do it. Everyone over here believes in you and adores you. Look at that. So use your intuition. Know the truth because you can. Leave the past behind you. If something comes around, something comes around, you know, use caution. Use caution here about what it is you're moving forward into. A rigid tree branch breaks under strong winds, yet flexibility seeks. Flexible seaweed survives powerful ocean swells. Right now, we gently remind you that being flexible is a good choice when faced with life's challenges. Surrender your fixed ideas to spirit who knows what is in your highest good and can deliver to you what you need in the appropriate form. In this moment, rather than fighting or being too sure of your way working out, be a little looser and allow for another outcome. Compromise can be the best way forward if you are to learn new ways of doing and seeing. Stay aware, curious, and teachable. Take life on life's terms. Your purpose may push you in a direction not on your map. Ain't that the truth? Let it. Be so flexible that no storm can uproot you. In the end, you will still be rooted in the world, in abundance, and you will indeed experience the beauty that is yours. We love you so much. Look at that, guys. Can't say it any clearer. Can't say it any clearer. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful reading. I'm going to cut the tarot card de deck in half. Yep, look at that. I got the hanged man. Asking the divine for clarity. Taking the time out. Feeling the feelings you feel. Being who you are. Just be who you are in the moment. Be true to your heart. Be true to your soul. And trust that it's for all divine reason. Even when you feel like crying. I love you guys. I'll talk to you again soon. Blessings.